Hello and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Hello, welcome to the channel. Hello everybody. Good to see you all again. I've got another unboxing to do today. I thought I'd share with you guys. So I'm just going to get the handy dandy scissors out and start that. So I'm a bit off the path there, aren't I? So, oh goodness me, struggles are real. Lots of tape. Lots of tape on this box. Let's get rid of this garbage bag and see what we've got. So this is fashion DIY. Okay, diamond painting cross stitch. It's an interesting box. I don't know if I've had a box like this before. I can't remember offhand. If I have, I haven't had many. But I don't really remember. Sorry. Um, look at the ends. This is really nice. It's not mushed or anything. It's lovely. It's in good nick, really. That's really nice to know that you, the box is in good nick. That means it's been not banged around too much and it's had a fairly good travel through the post. Yay! Okay, so I'm just trying to not get myself tangled up here. That's good. Can I open it? That's the question. No, no tape. I thought for a second that I might have to tape. The ends might be taped down. <gasps> Ooh. It's got a roller. I love things on a roller. I know you just sort of know your canvas is going to be good, I think, if you, it's on a roller. So that's a big plus right there. Do, 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 do. Canvas on a roller. Grills. Oh, I don't like the look at that packaging and a kit yep that's it for the box which is a shame because that's a nice solid box oops <laughs> nice solid box i had it upside down i didn't realize and it's got beautiful big prints of diamonds on there that's really nice that's good i'm i'm never going to need it again but it's great all right um We'll quickly spin our wheels through this kit because it looks pretty similar. We've got one of those poor boats and some of those tools, normal tweezers, pink boat. And I've got about, I love the baggies, extra baggies are fun. Six baggies and a little piece of wax mud, whatever you like to call that stuff down there. Oh, and it's got a multi little multi placer on one end. A three or whatever. So nice little fairly standard kit. That's all right. That's what's going to come with this particular art piece today. Got some drills, but we'll get this canvas out and have a look at it, shall we? All right. So it's got some tape on there. Hang on, banger. Just gonna get the scissors in here. And just snip that. Oh, that's going to roll. Oh, it's smooth. It's neat on the back. Look at that. That is so neat and clean. Oh, I do love a canvas when I see it. So nice and neat and clean. Mm, funky smell, though. Nice thick roller. I'm going to pop this one back on here, I think. I don't know. I might put it back on the roller for a little while. Maybe I don't know what to do with it. There you go, that's the back. We'll flip her over to that way because that's the way it wants to go. That is really neat. And now I've had a couple other ones feel exactly like this, like a while back. You can see it's not going to take a lot to straighten out. It's really quite happy to sit nice and flat nearly. And I haven't even peeled that back yet. It just feels really nice. Now there's some tape here, so maybe they had some lifting issues. I don't know. Or they just felt that that was a bit of an edge there and they didn't want that edge to dry out. Um, but anyway, we'll get into this canvas. Now I'm painting cross stitch across the top. I have my image and my key down the side. We can have a quick look at that. 
I'm gonna have to get up. Aren't they the cutest? And you've got, oh yeah, I'm trying to run this the right way. It's still very curly though, isn't it? Symbols and so forth, all down the side there. So that's really groovy, just on the canvas on one edge. Da 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 da. Sun your group sticky. Let's have a look, Lee. What's going on with this piece of sticky tape? It's got me interested. So I'll just take that off and gently put it over there. And I'll just carefully lift this corner. Let's see what's going on with this glue. And print. And whatever's going on underneath. Because this is the tape. Double sided tape glue. Ho oh, ho, oh, wow, this is going to be good. And I can't see properly, but. It looks to have a fair chunk of colour blocking through some of this too because I suppose being that cartoony shapes. Oh, I want to do this one now. <laughs> it's so hard when you've got so many you want to do. This is looking really nice. We went and watched this movie. It was, well, the live action one I should say, the new one. I watched this one a long time ago with, <laughs> with some of the older kids. But the young kids hadn't seen it and we went to the live action. Is that what they call it? Live action? Yeah. Anyway, on the really huge, huge screens. And it was mm, it was good. I enjoyed it. You know, the stories are much the similar, so it wasn't too much there, but it was really I kind of liked it anyway. I enjoyed it and it looked great on the big screen. Okie dokie. So I can see here we've got a little bit of a raise in the glues in a few spots when I'm peeling it back there. This side seems to be good but this one's a bit wonky. So I've got um, a bit of a bubble through here and here and here. You can probably see them quite clearly actually. The way the image is sitting. I don't think they'll be too much of a bother. But the rest of the top of the canvas looks really good. The print looks really nice. Um, it does have the little circles around. This is round drill. So it does have the little training circles, if you like, around the images, but there's no grid lines or anything. I don't think at all. On that, let's get up close and personal as I go for the lift. Do not stick to that. Go away. There you go. You can have a bit of a look through some of the symbols a bit better and the glue quality is not bad at that end. It's just a little bit further down. Do I get those gluey issues just like there. And you can see what I mean by the little wheels, circles and things. And the colour blocking is quite good. So that will be fun. It's sort of fun doing colour blocking sometimes. You need a bit of confetti to get some texture, but huh, that just went back on there. Okie dokie. <laughs> it did its own thing. It just rolled back. Maybe that's why this had the sticky tape. That gap might have been a bit hard to put back in place or something at one stage. I don't know. Ah. One bit just does its own thing nicely and the other one just doesn't want to work at all. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I'll release this end a bit just to make sure it's all good. No, I won't be putting this back on the roll. I thought about it. No, because once I do this it'll be too hard again. And more likely to cause more bubbles. So I'll just show you this end of the canvas as well.
So I've probably got one, two, three, four bubbly areas just from this um, part of the sticky tape. This side seems to be fine. Simba's fine. My girlfriend's got a few troubles. But yeah, and that's the little leaves and that on the bottom there, you can see. So that image is really nice. It's kind of cute, isn't it? I sort of once I saw the movie and everything, can I saw this image? I thought I know it's the cartoon and it's a little, and of course that's different. But I don't know. It was cute walking in the forest together. List of things to do. So that is a 40 by 50. And with that colour blocking, if you really wanted to, I reckon you could knock that out pretty fast. If you've got time, of course. Alright, so I'm just going to shoot that to one side. It's a really nice canvas. It's nice. It's got a bit of flex about it too, which is nice. Alright, straight into the drills. Do you have an inventory sheet? Oh no no no. Inventory sheet. Let's have a look at that real quick. So we have a really nice print out there of all your symbols. 37 colours. Holy crap. I'll need one of the big cases for this one. 37 different colours. Um, 3,818 has 17 bags. That's a green. That makes sense. Um, so you've got your image up there. Instruction sheets and whatnot. We have, now not much I say again, bit of different packaging going on in here so we'll just some two four fives that they decided to give me extra in different zip bags nine three nine written on that and that three eight one eighteen is written on that one okay righty out that just there. So as you can see there's going to be lots of shades of green and of course tans and oranges for the lions. These are round drills and it's very hard to tell when you're in these packets until you start really working with the drills but there's no obvious like bubbly rubbish in that packet so I'm hoping they're going to be much the same all through. I'm just sort of turning it around to a bit more to the light to see what I'm doing this while I'm off camera when I'm having a look with those. But they do look pretty good. The thing you can sort of see what I mean like you can't really see any dimpling. You know some of that really obvious stuff that comes straight up and straight away. All right let's run through a few colors. I'll check this off later. So, I say in these strip forms with the DMC numbers, we have that green. And I'll just go through all the different shades of green that comes in this. Very glary, isn't it? So you've got really rich darks to sort of minty, pepperminty. <laughs> Very pale greens, really dark, where are you, I don't even watch what I'm doing now, olivey greens, there's a lot of greens, 
It's a very bright green. And we've got also got sort of bluey greens, I suppose. And then of course we've got a zip bag just with those ones in it for some reason. They're separate. I don't know why. Must have run out of the regular sorts. And different shades of tans. Sort of going mustardy colours as well in this to yellows, oranges, really pumpkin orange. It's quite pretty that catches the eye. Some more yellows, and then for some reason I've got like a little zip bag of this colour. I don't know. Peachy skin tones, Vanala, I guess she's got some peachy colours in her fur. Those pinky things. Some more shades of browns and peaches. Oh, I missed a green. That wouldn't really surprise me, to be honest. Some pink, some tans. Is that tan? It's hard to say. Soft pink, kitschy colours, red colours. Bit of black. Not too bad on the black with this one. And uh, for some reason this one's in a zip bag as well as the 939. I don't know. This go with the flow, don't you, sometimes? Alright, so that's a pretty quick run through that one. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Hopefully it will be. You've got an inventory sheet, so I can go through this and check. Um, there's only 8 bags of 310, which is nice. <laughs> Put that 318 says it's worth 17 bags, but I don't think that's the only thing I've got with it. I wouldn't reckon there's 17 of those in there. Could I have more of those somewhere? Or no, that's different. That's 890. That's uh, that's a bit of a concern. I'm not sure how that's gonna be enough or not. Hmm. You wouldn't think that would be equal to 17 of those in there. There just doesn't look right, does it? Anyway, I'll work that out when it comes down to the crunch of it all, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that is my Lion King DP I'll share with you guys today. I think it's going to be really nice once it's done, obviously. It's a good, pretty good little kit. I said the only thing I'm a bit concerned about is that particular drill. That's just, just it's different idea of putting things together and that always makes you, I don't know, worry. <laughs> Um, from AliExpress, $25 basically AU, uh, free shipping, 40 by 50 round. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Free shipping, I think it, and I can't remember, it's about three weeks roughly it took, I think three to four weeks I think it came within this one. Pretty much standard for your free shipping. I think that's all their bases. You've got your little kit there. We're all done. These do look pretty good, pretty clean. I'm happy with that. I mean, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a fun kit to do, honestly. I wouldn't mind being able to get a hold of that one. And this just looks 
the drill field looks nice print like it's nice and strong I always use my light pads as you see in my other video it is awesome it is absolutely awesome good investment I also got one of these from Aliexpress it is a little it's a basically it's not worth doing a tutorial all by itself on but it's just got a really soft little brush end and what the idea is just to sweep up spills of your drills and this end sticky and it just you just once it picks them all up for you like that and then you can just put them back into your container actually works well I spilt some some earlier today in the bottom here in my trash mind you I spilt the good ones that's that's just the joy of the dime painting so this came in handy today sweep sweep pick up pick up pick up pick up <laughs> So yeah, these are cool. These were all about two bucks on AliExpress. Took forever to go come in the post though. Seriously, I think about six weeks. It was ridiculous um, postage time on this thing. But it is came in handy. So if you're not in a rush. Okay, guys, that's just it for me for today. I will see you in my next video. Hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your diamond painting and be your life beautiful. This is Del signing out. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe and share on social media. That'd be great. Thanks guys. Thank you so much.